Kate Small and this is my 2024 Spring Bear Gear Dump. Um, I'm going to start with my bigger items on the table so I can move them off and move on to other stuff. The rifle I'm going to be running this Spring Bear is a 7PRC Savage Ultralight Elite. It has the folding um, stock. I'll be running a Zeiss V4 6-24 by 50 scope and a Spartan Precision bipod along with the AB suppressor. So, where I'm packing all my gear in is the new Initial Ascent 5K. They came out with a new system with an awesome roll top. Um, when it rolls down, this is 5,200 cubic inches. When it rolls down, it rolls down to 36. If you're doing some more compact hunts, um, we're gonna be doing an eight or nine day bear hunt. So I'll have it rolled up probably. And they have the new beaver tail system. So you can unzip and you can get into the bottom of your bag um, pretty easily. So you don't have to unpack everything and then repack it. Next, I'll just carry on with some optic stuff. I will be using the um, Spark Precision Ascent tripod with the Swaro. We just got this. It's the Swarovski ATS HD 80. Um, it's 20 to 60 by 80. So just used it yesterday for the first time and it's kind of ruined all other optics for me, but we'll see how it does on the hunt. Um, next we'll do footwear. Um, I think I've had these for about two or three years. These are the Crispy Summit Twos. They're amazing. The first year I got them, I bought them the day before hunt because my I just realized my boots were shot and I didn't even have to bring these in and they've done awesome for me. Um, next, what I'll wear over those, I'll wear my Peaks gaiters in. I've tried a lot of gaiters. These are bomb proof. Um, I've yet to break these or rip these and I've used them for a couple of seasons now. So I'll wear these in um, spring bear, so tick season, and these help keep the ticks off me. And then as much as I hate myself for this and everyone else who wears Crocs, um, a buddy of mine sent these to me like six years ago because I made fun of his on a hunt. But they come in awesome lightweight camp shoe after you've been hiking around in your boots all day, so I always bring these. I know, I'm disgusted. Uh, next, I'll move on to my sleep system. My sleeping pad, use a Nemo. Um, it's insulated, it does great, it's lightweight, packable. I'm super excited to try this out. It says C to Summit, I just have it in a different bag. It is the New Peaks sleeping bag. It's lightweight, packed down amazingly well, so I can't speak to it yet, but I'll let you guys know how it does on this hunt. Then I have, I think this is a Nemo pillow. I don't know which one, probably, oh, it's the Elite Luxury one. Um, and it changed. Just, just as nice to have as a comfort, sleep better, hunt better. Next, I have the Argali four person Absaroka TP. Um, we don't bring, per my choice, um, usually the wood stove for spring bear because of the bugs. I like to have the insert, so we usually run the insert instead of the wood stove, especially this year. I think it's gonna be a little bit warmer than past years, but that's what we run for our teepee. And then these are just the poles that go with it. You can opt to use a trekking pole, but it's just a pain in the butt sometimes to take it there, take your trekking pole to go hike for the day and come back. So we use those. Um, next is my bino harness. I've run Alaska Guide Creations for 
basically as long as I can remember. And so I just just like them. I think I've had this same vinyl harness for a long time. So um, I run in it the wind checker. I always carry extra bullets and ammo in the front pocket. In the back, I always have my hunting license, so it's always on me. I attach my inReach mini to it. And then I also am running the Zeiss RFs for finals. Water system, going to use a Steri pen this year in case that breaks. We have iodine tablets and then extra water bladders we're running. I think we have three to four, three liters and four liters in there. Next is the toilet kit, um, toilet paper, baby wipes, and hand sanitizer. Next is kill kit, game bags. Um, knives, and then electrical tape for when you inevitably tag out and have to take your tag on an animal. Next up is fire kit, just normal lighters, fire starter. I know everyone uses something different. This is just normally what we go with, quick and easy. And that's about it for that. Um, let's see. Oh, med kit. I could do a, a whole nother review on what I put in my med kit, but my main items are suture kit, tourniquet, and um, quick clot. Even though it's not the best thing for you, it does in a pinch. If you're severely bleeding, then I always have different medications in here in case things go south. Then um, jet boil. I think this is the zip. It's old, um, and then we always carry extra canisters depending on how long we're going to be out there. A spoon, and usually there's a lighter attached. We have a lighter attached to this, um, and some form of cup so I can drink coffee in the morning. Um, electronics kit. So in this is probably my all-time favorite product, which is a Luminade, and. It's just a blow up expandable lantern and it's solar powered. Um, then a couple of different battery packs, keep my different charging cords in here and my headlamp. And then with that goes a solar panel. It's very lightweight. This is just an Amazon brand. This one's big blue. Got it for like half the price of the other brands and it works awesome. It's really been a game changer. Um, so we don't have to bring as many battery packs. And then let's see what we have here. We have the Graxaw boot dryers, which um, will be super nice because spring bear always tends to get a little wet. And then I don't have to dry my boots by the fire all night. This is the initial sink rain cover that just goes over the bag for the inevitable rain of spring bear. Um, this is just a butt pad I always have with me. This is a new one this year that we just made from an old crap. It's a thermo rest sleeping pad that we just cut up for a butt pad. Um, that's usually what we tend to go with um, to glass instead. And then I think the last item, I've never used these, but Justin got these for me for Christmas for Spring Bear because we always are crossing the most terrifying avalanche chutes where you take, uh, and logs and you take one wrong step and you're going down the mountain a thousand feet. So these are the Catula micro spikes and they go onto your boots and have all these little spikes to grip into snow, ice, and wet logs. So I'm gonna try them out this year to see if it helps curb my fear of dying. Um, so that is my 2024 Spring Bear Gear Dump.
uh, we'll probably be making some micro videos going through each kit and reviewing products that we like to use.